What's going on guys? Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. Today I'm bringing you guys a really, really good back and forth gameplay versus a top player. We were in the Mudhead uh, tournament for the $1,000 and I'm playing my guy Nick Hacko. He's had a good year, he's been in clubs, he's been in every tournament and he's done well, man. So I really hope you guys will stick around for that video. Also, I just wanna thank you guys. You guys have been awesome. You guys have continued to like these videos. I really, really do appreciate that. Also, we picked up a bunch of subs the other day. So I'm gonna ask if you guys are new, Continue to hit that sub button. Make sure you guys check me out. I'm dropping gameplays and tips all the time. And also, I have actually I actually have something big planned for May. So if you guys could, I'm gonna put in the description below my my link for you guys to my community posts. I hope you guys will check that out. Check out my community posts. I'm always in there asking questions, seeing what you guys want to see, um, asking you guys if you like the content, uh, what I could change, stuff like that. Be interactive on there. I have something big planned for May, and I asked you guys a question. Go ahead in there, drop an answer for me, show me what you guys want to see, and I'll help you guys out. But stay tuned for May when I have that. But I'm going to continue to drop you guys videos in the meantime. And lastly, if you guys like what I'm running on offense and defense throughout this video, make sure I check the description below for my ebooks. It's all the stuff I run. I don't leave anything out. I give you guys everything. I'm one of the few people in this community that will give you guys every single play I run without fail. So without further ado, man, let's jump into this video. Okay, boys, so we're jumping into it here. You guys see that is his team, I believe, and then you're going to see my team. You can see by his route chems that, you're, that he's in bunch. I'm in trips, so I don't really have any route chems. Um, I, did, I was using a route chem on the outside for a little while, but for this game, I actually was testing to use uh, really, really good D-linemen. So on my D-line, I had UL Physical, uh, I believe it was Curse and, and Lawrence Taylor. Both are, are like close to 90 speed. So I wanted to test it out, see see how they did against uh, against against bunch in their pass rush. So I wanted to test it out, so I had to get rid of, rid of the route cam for today. I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to stick with that or not. I didn't get to play long enough for it to really to really see if it mattered or not. Uh, but I think it did pretty well, and you guys are going to see that throughout today's game. So right now, you guys see uh, just, I get I lost four yards in my first run. I'm going to tell you guys right now. I literally could not run the ball in this game whatsoever, and it's going to be funny to watch all game. So just pay attention to that. But we end up turning it over on downs. First possession, turning it over kind of sucks. Makes you feel bad about yourself. Makes you feel like you suck. No, I'm just kidding. But it's actually a tough break to go through right there. You really, you really want to get some type of points uh, in the, on the first drive of the game, get something going. But regardless, here we're going to play pretty good defense. Lock him up and force him to take three. So not the end of the world. If you're not gonna get, if you're not gonna get points yourself on the first possession, you really don't want to give up seven. To give them up a full stop and seven, you're gonna be in some trouble. So usually I actually run the ball to get off this hash, but but my first possession really got screwed up by losing four yards on first down. Putting yourself in a second fourteen isn't really ideal. So even though I wasn't on a hash there, I decided to pass the ball just because I can't afford to, to lose four yards in the run again. Uh, right there, good blitz by him. Didn't really have anything open. He got some pressure. Next play here, we're going to a Max Pro setup, trying to uh, trying to counter his blitz, but he does a good job playing coverage right there and locks me up again. So, as you guys can see, he's playing really, really good defense. He's making me work really hard, and I don't really have much open. Um, and I'm just trying to I'm just trying to make things happen naturally. I mean, when you're when you're kind of locked up, you just kind of freelance, I guess you could say. And right there, that was huge fourth and two conversion. I went to my favorite like one, two, three yard play and he had everything locked up. But with the low ball, I was able to fit it in. So we're driving now, but but it's been a rough one. We're, we got stopped the first possession and now we're, this is what I like to call a struggle drive. So we're fighting through that. And I'm sorry guys, if you guys can hear the trash in the background, nothing I can do, but we're gonna fight through it with a touchdown. So if you guys were wondering how I did that, I have a, there's a package in goal line. If you don't have a fullback or running back on your team to get their wide receiver there, so I got Odell at running back, gave him the toss, and let him go make a play for me. So rough start to the game. We were down, we were down, um, we were down three nothing, down a stop, and we were able to fight all the way back to go up seven three. I say we turn this game all the way around. So and we're also playing great defense. And right there, Perry Nickerson making the play. We got a little bit of pressure on. We forced him to roll out. We sent our spy. And he had to throw that playmaker just a millisecond too early before the three-wreck was going to break off of it. So right there, we thought we bombed him over the top, and Vernon just couldn't come down with it. So good effort there from Vernon. Not going to complain. And right there, I actually learned something. If you guys didn't notice, 
when he lurked the table out, I knew he was going to bounce back, so I went right back to it. I knew I could get half back right there. Third and 18, you're not going to pick up 20 yards most of the time. You need to get 8, 9, 10 yards and try to get half of it back. And I knew he was going to break back off the table route because I watched how he used it to play before. He did the same thing, and I got half of it back. But fact of the matter is, we got stopped. However, we have Bradley Roby on our team, and he throws us a pick right back. So, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. This game started off terrible for both of us. We both were literally boxed to the max. We both turned the ball over, uh, I believe it's twice, and he got stopped for a field goal, and I, got, I was lucky enough to get a touchdown. So, we're both not moving the ball well on offense. Maybe me a little bit better than him, but not by much. Not by much, guys. And right there, I tried to do the same thing with uh, with how he was using that table route. Didn't make as good of a read as I did last time, but we ended up making a late read and picking up the first down anyways. So right here, what I'm thinking is 245 left, 250 left. I'm thinking last drive of the half. If I get seven, this game is probably over. I'm up 14-3 and I'm playing great defense. <clears throat> or if I, even, if I just get three, I'm still up a full possession and I've still played great defense, so we're gonna keep fighting with that. So right there, somehow Walter moved the chains. I really don't know how he did that. I actually went hurry up right there, thinking that it was fourth down. But somehow we got the first down, and right there we just fit our corner out in with a straight laser, perfect spot. Now we can easily milk the clock down. The most he'll probably have is about 20 seconds. So we're gonna run the ball every time here. Not every time, but most of the time, just to make sure that we get to the spot that we need to, to make sure we can make this the end of the half. So 30 seconds left, I get a fourth and one. I'm thinking to myself, I can finish this half off and I maybe get a chance to a touchdown. So I go for it, I get it. And that fullback dive right, I usually run it left. But people have a gap shoot to the left one now, so I did it to the right thinking he didn't have a gap shoot. However, he ends up having one at the end. Figured it out maybe mid game, and we end up. I do want to. I did a toss there just to see if I could catch him off guard. If I did, I'd run into the end zone. If not, I can just run out of bounds because I didn't have any timeouts right there, which is why I did that. I could not possibly run dive right there with no timeouts, but I definitely could run toss knowing I could get out of bounds. So that's why I did that. We take our three. Perfect drive to end the half. Perfect clock management to make sure he doesn't get another possession. And now we're up 10-3 at halftime. Right there, I actually played the perfect defense. I had the mid-read to take away the post, funneling it into the deep half. But I probably could have moved my deep half down about two steps. Had I done that, it would have. Uh, he probably would have picked that off or at least knocked that ball away. Instead, he ends up going for the pick and whiffing on it, giving him a free touchdown. So it's rather unfortunate when, when you play really, really, really good defense. Uh, but but you don't get the result that you probably wanted or deserved. So tough break there. Uh, right here, we try to roll out to hit our drag, and we just couldn't get it off. I don't know how he got after Vic right there. Uh, I thought I was going to get that pass away. Tough break there. Then his cloud played my uh, my slant with a flat out there, which I found weird. But we end up catching it anyways because Odell's the best player in this game. And nice little quick one cut right there to get upfield, and we're moving the ball again. We're doing really, really well here. Uh, ever since those first couple drives, we've really picked it up. I feel like we've up, we're up to 16 for 23. 16 for 23 ain't that bad, especially when you started like 3 for 7, 3 for 8, right? So I'll take it. Not a big deal. Third and four here. We need a touchdown. Uh, so I would, say, I would say we need a touchdown right here just because of the timing of the game. If you get three, if you get three, he's probably... He's probably gonna get seven, and then you're in a tough, you're in a tough spot. But right there, nice little quick playmaker, just a subtle playmaker from our running back option route. I really love option routes, guys, from the running back. I feel like they're better than curl routes. They sit just in a nice little perfect spot for you. And usually, if they don't have a spy out there, they're just a great easy read for you. But they, he had a spy, so I just gave it a little touch of a playmaker, and we're able to get in the end zone right there. Somehow he fits the playmaker in underneath Deion Sanders. I really felt like Deion Sanders could have got to that. He usually does, to be honest with you. He's probably my favorite card. As always, I always give you guys testimonies. If you're in a salary cap, this physical 99 speed Dion with 90 zone is very, very, very good. Probably the best de defensive back I've used all year. If you're not in salary cap, I'd recommend just get the full Dion 99 speed, 99 zone. I feel like he's awesome, man. I feel like he's really, 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 really good. Easily one of my favorite players to use this year, so make sure you guys check him out. Right there, we have the gap shoot of a century. 
big stop right there. So monumental play, really. Uh, to go up, to stay up four there instead of giving him seven, we're in prime time shape to end this game. We're just in the same position as it was before halftime. We're up four. If we go, if we go milk this clock, the game is over. However, I thought I had him deep, and Vic under throws him by a millisecond, man. I, that was the game right there, 100%. That was the game. If, if Odell catches that, goes on touchdown, I'm up 11. The game is over. Uh, but honestly, that was the worst possible scenario. Number one, I didn't milk him. So I threw that deep thinking, okay, touchdown, I'll go up 11. I don't get to milk him because he because I catch it. And I pick up a 50-yard chunk, but I don't get into the end zone. And then I end up getting an intentional ground on the next play, and we end up settling for three. So probably the worst possible scenario, to be honest. I don't regret my read and making that throw simply because I thought it was a touchdown. And if it was a touchdown to go up 11, the game's over. Now, if I'd known it wasn't going to be a touchdown, I probably wouldn't have thrown it because, like I said before half, you really, really want to go into uh, to milk mode. But, unfortunately, it just doesn't work out for us, man. Right there, he has a nice little play. We had that post cross man, and usually cross man will stop it. But in order to fit the D lineman in our team, we had to downgrade uh, to Ron Parker and... I'm not sure who my other safety was. Maybe Andre Howe. I think it was Andre Howe. And they just didn't have the speed that that Edmonds and uh, Sean Taylor and Jamal Adams and those other guys have. So, picks up a touchdown really quickly. Not the end of the world that that he didn't milk it all the way down and then gets, he can get seven. He scored really quick. The only issue with that is... I didn't think he was going to get seven on us if we didn't give him a free one. So we gave him a free one. When you when you're down like that, you don't you want to make someone work. When you, I mean, sorry, when you're up like that, you want to make someone work. And we didn't make him work. And right there, I thought we made a perfect read. I've made that read twice earlier this game. Ronnie Lott hadn't made a play. To be completely honest with you, I'd throw it again. I really don't think he makes that play nine out of ten times. Uh, and right there, we get a great sack. I hadn't sent heat all game. I let my D lineman do all the work. We decided to send heat on this play and just uh, unfortunate play call, man. He sent five out. He hadn't sent five out very much this game. And I and I hadn't blitzed much all game. He happens to call a five out play that that's gonna crush my six man blitz. And that's about it, man. He's just gonna go into milk mode and, and take this game when he field goal. But guys, I thought this was an awesome game. I hope you guys learned something from it. Uh, I definitely learned something from it. I learned, I learned that you can't make a you can't make a mistake on your game when it drive and throw a pick. But I really thought it wasn't the worst read. I, I probably would make that read again. I just I think that was just a one out of ten play. Ronnie Lott makes it. But something I did really really learn was you if you're playing great defense, which I did the entire game. If you guys want to go back and look. I played great defense the entire game. Make someone work. When I'm up four, it's sorry, no, when I'm up seven, it's 20 to 13, and there's two and a half minutes to go. You don't give the guy a 50 yard touchdown. Now he might have broken a little bit of a tackle on the play, but you can't give someone that, that easy of a of a touchdown. You gotta make the guy take his drags, make him take his flats, make him take his slants. Don't give him his post in his corner, man. Just don't. It's just it's just easier if you if you make them work and they might make a mistake. They might they might have to get to a fourth down and then and then they're not in the spot they want to be in. But back to the banner is man, it was a great game. I hope you all learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like for me. If you're new, hit the sub for me. Show me some love. I always show y'all love. You guys are my guys. I do it all for you. I appreciate y'all, man. Take it easy. Peace.